Hi. Hope you guys are doing well, first of all. Um, crazy times we're living in. Absolutely insane. But we will get through this and we're going to figure out a way. Just like in history, this is not the first time that a problem has happened and we'll figure it out. But I decided since I had so much time on my hands now, I might as well make a video and hopefully it will be helpful to you guys, even though I don't know what education is going to look like moving forward. Um, I've heard a lot of news about like classes are going to be online, like for the rest of the year in some places. So I don't know, but hopefully this helps you in some capacity. Um, even if you're not in medical school or for what, whatever graduate program or undergrad that you're doing. Um, some of you were asking about my first video when I failed that exam. Um, essentially had to restudy for the whole year because the exam was cumulative and um, a nationwide test that every school gets. And I just like absolutely bombed it. Um, and that was back in last July after my first year of medical school. And um, so I studied for it uh, two weeks. I got a really good study schedule down, um, took it and did really well. So after I got over the anger of it and anger at my school, anger at myself, um, accepted that my summer was gonna have to be studying, uh, it went really well. Like I, I got into a groove and like I've said before, just switched my mindset from wanting to pass and just wanting to move on to like, if I'm already going to study, like let's do it in a way that I'm learning and I enjoy it. And so it really, that time studying during the summer, even though I had studied so much over the past year, um, and couldn't imagine if you told me at the end that I was going to have to study also in summer, I would have gone absolutely crazy. But that switching of my mindset to wanting to learn, wanting to enjoy it, seeing that it's going to help me later on um, for people really made it a piece of cake. And I took it and it went well. Um, so the beginning of second year, I went in with a mindset of, okay, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not going to just study the lecture material just because I'm worried that I might miss out on certain details or what have you. Um, and that was my main issue with first year. Like I didn't want to change how I've studied for so long um, because I want so badly to pass and I don't wanna fail. And that, that feeling of failure sucks and mentally it's crazy, like it's so draining. So you get into this control, or I got into this kind of control attitude where it's like, okay, if I study every single detail of the lecture material, I can't possibly fail. And that's what I was doing for the first year. And I was able to skate by and it was able to move me forward. But the problem was um, I, I wasn't learning when I was doing that. Like the nitty gritty details of the lecture material and writing down what I was doing is I was listening to every lecture. I was writing down the notes, every word they said, I was writing it down. And then I'd go back through and I'd study my notes. I'd study every word that they said, and that's how I would take the exams. And it, it worked. But when I took that cumulative exam, the nationwide, step, te nationwide test at the end of the year, what you need in those standardized tests is a foundation that you picked up along the way. So long-term memory is hard to get when you're memorizing so much. So the key to passing those tests is having a really strong conceptual background on what you've learned. And I didn't have it because I was learning the nitty gritty details in Afterwards, I, I didn't remember anything because I didn't know, I, I didn't really understand what I was learning in the moment either. I was just memorizing details and memorizing facts. I wasn't connecting and critically thinking and putting pieces together. So essentially when I took that exam at the end of the year, it was like starting from scratch. Like I didn't remember anything. I remembered random things that my professors told me that mean nothing 
on a grand scale. Um, I don't know if this is confusing, hopefully not, but it's like, it's like learning how the different ion channels in the heart, like just that, just you're learning the ion channels and like sodium and potassium and all this stuff um, that gets it to contract, but you're not, you didn't take the time to step back and look at what, what does the heart do as a whole? Like not the minute small details of the heart. How does it function? What does it do? How does it contribute to everything else? I was learning ion channels. Um, and that was basically what I was doing for every um, body system. So anyways, so starting my second year, I was like, all right, I'm not going to do that. Like I figured out a way to enjoy studying, to actually learn. I'm not going to control. Like I'm not going to go back to what I was doing. Sure enough, a couple of weeks kick in and I'm back to controlling. It's so much information. I'm freaking out. I go back to just studying nitty gritty details. I get positive reinforcement uh, because I pass. Um, so I'm like, okay, see, like maybe this is how stubborn I am. It's like, maybe, maybe this, maybe it'll work. Um, so I do it again. And we had the hardest walk of the year. Um, and I can say that now cause we're done. We had a heart, um, the lungs and kidney. And it was like an eight week course. And, um, usually are, usually they're only like four weeks at a time. So I did that same thing for four for eight weeks, I studied that way. Um, I ended up failing my midterm. And when you fail your midterm, that means like, so if I got a 60% on my midterm, I would have to get an 80% on the final in order to pass the course. So I'm like, okay, still being stubborn, even though I just bombed the midterm, I'm like, I can make it up. Still study the same way. And then about three days before the final, my brain is like, you know what? <laughs> I'm literally not learning anything. Like I've studied for seven weeks and I couldn't tell you basic information about these three body systems. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, like three days before the final, I start studying um, different resources. I start stepping away from lecture. I'm finally realizing like, wow, I know nothing. So I'm just like, what do I have to lose? I'm gonna study something else. Hopefully those things will stick because I'm not learning anything anyways. Um, Needless to say, didn't pass the final. Um, yeah, so had to learn the hard way. Had to learn the hard way yet again. Um, and so we, I had a week to be able to retake it. So that is where I kind of had a breakdown again. And I was like, how did this happen? How do, how do I study 12 hours a day? literally 12 hours a day. Um, my diet is horrible. I'm barely exercising. And these are like so obvious things, right? They, like everybody tells you, you have to exercise, you have to eat well, you have to take care of your mental health. Um, but we control, like we get into this control mindset and we can't let go and we just start removing things and it becomes just what it is. So I think that was the biggest kicker where I was like, okay, seven weeks, I busted so much energy and I learned nothing and I failed. <laughs> like, seriously? So it was there, it was that, not the whole year, not that, not that exam during the summer where I, where I bombed. It was this, where it was like, obviously a culmination of things, but this is where I would attribute the turning point where I was like, you know what? I have nothing to lose <laughs> at this point. I am so done. I am not at all ever going to just cram in information um, just to pass a test ever again. Forget it. So that week, I just chucked all of my lecture material. And this isn't this. This isn't to say like everybody's different. Everybody's school is different. So again, I'm not telling you to follow in my footsteps. I'm telling you to listen to yourself and listen to your intentions and listen to what you're, how you're learning and if you're learning and what is going to allow you to be able to do that best for yourself. So for me, it was checking the lecture material. I didn't, my professors, I hate to say it, but I wasn't learning. I wasn't learning anything. So I got together a couple of resources that I heard about, tried them out, got rid of the ones I didn't like and studied those for a week. And I think I ended up 
coming out with like a 90%, which I've like never in medical school. I haven't seen a 90% in like, yeah, forever. So it was a turning point. It was a super big turning point. And then from there, we had one more block before winter break. Hopefully this is making sense. So <laughs> my timelines, um, we had, uh, MSK musculoskeletal system, um, hematology and oncology, um, in a month, which was a lot of information. Um, but from the get go, I was like, no, like I'm not, I'm doing, I'm making, I made my own schedule basically. Like I, what I did, I looked at the lectures that we had for that day and the topics and I wrote down all the topics that they were going to go over and I fit it to the resources that I found. I didn't touch lecture. Um, yeah. Um, the only ones that I, I ended up listening to were, were t on topics that I couldn't find in my resources. But even so I listened to that. I listened to those lectures, um, like two days before my final and I didn't write any notes. I just listened to it and that was it. That was my pass. Like if I, that was all I was going to do for lecture. And, um, I took the test and did really well. Like it was, it was, it's. Like that moment, I'm never going to forget because it was like, I looked back at that month, like I was studying maybe five hours a day, five to six hours a day. Um, and then the week before a more, a little bit more, but I had so much more time than I ever had in a year and a half. And I learned so much more. It's, it's crazy. Like everybody tells you like study efficiently, but I have to learn the hard way. And yeah, so that's what I did. Pass it, pass the exam. Um, came back from winter break. Continued on that same schedule. Passed everything. Um, I when we took another standardized test because we had, we have two of them actually. One is on Friday, and we had one back in February of this year. I want to say, and um, it went really well. It was, it was crazy. And so I met with my board advisor because we have to do that. We have to meet with an advisor um, to talk about how we're studying for boards. Last year, like the beginning of my second year, I had to meet with him for the first time. And he essentially told me like, I'm like in deep trouble. <laughs> like he pulled up my scores and he's like, I, I don't know what you're gonna do because you're extremely behind. Uh, your scores are extremely low. I told him I wanted to do, I want to do surgery. Um, and he's like, that's, that's like reach for the stars. But you know, like it's, it's very low likelihood if you continue like this. So I met with him again last week and he was very, he was very proud of me. Um, he's like, I don't know how you turn it around. Um, yeah. So he was really proud. He's, he said, I'm on a good trajectory for the specialty that I want to do for boards. Um, if I continue in this way and keep getting better and yeah, so now school is done. Classes are done. Um, my USMLE got canceled. I'm still so far taking the complex and I don't know from there, but yeah. So thank you for everybody who cares, who cares. Yeah, so I'm I'm really thankful for this, and I hope that you guys, um, maybe this doesn't apply to you. Maybe you've already been doing that. Maybe you're not as a control freak and stubborn as I am. Um, but if you if you know that about yourself, if you if you know that you do tend to have those qualities, just take a look. Take a look at how how you're living your life. What things have you gone to accept? Have you accepted that you don't eat well? Have you accepted that you don't exercise? Have you accepted that you don't take alone time? For me, I accepted that I, I stopped praying in, in my morning and I stopped reading my Bible. Um, and these are obvious red flags that I was able to ignore. And it wasn't until I was forced to step back and look at what I was doing. Um, so don't get there. Don't get to that point. Um, look at yourself now. Make the hard changes now. Um, and if not, it's okay. Because I've gone through that, I feel so much stronger. And what's ahead and the failures and the ups and downs. So yeah, thanks for listening. Hopefully this was helpful. Bye.